Splatoon is filled to the brim with all kinds of cool details, but there are a few that are just a little cooler and a little more hidden than the rest. Specifically, five of them, at least in this video, which we're going to show you right now. And our first one takes place in Nicopolis, home of the Squid Sisters, who of course greet you every single time you turn on the game. But in case you're not sick of seeing them, you can actually drop by their studio and watch them hanging out between broadcasts. Yeah, it's not exactly terribly exciting. But what happens if you keep waiting? Let's find out. They'll eventually take notice of you and give a little wave. It's nice to see that even the biggest stars of Inkopolis haven't forgotten about their fans. Now outside of Inkopolis, we have Octo Valley. But did you ever wonder why it was called Octo Valley? Okay, sure, it might be home to the Octarians, but that doesn't seem to be where it got its name from. Let's try taking a close look at the background. Do you see it there? Yep, that's a giant rock formation in the shape of an octopus, complete with tentacles that stretch over the environment. Pretty cool, huh? And while you're in Octo Valley, you'll of course encounter Captain Cuttlefish, who'll give you ink spraying tips throughout the game. But did you ever try spraying them yourself? Yeah, he'll just sit there and take it at first, but after a few seconds, he'll eventually shake it off. And after you beat the game, you can try spraying the Snow Globe boss too to make him cower in fear. I almost feel bad for doing that. And there's a similar detail in the multiplayer portion too. Because, check out what happens if you try spraying the seagulls flying around, like in Salt Spray Rick. Yeah, they don't seem to like it very much. But it's kinda cool that they respond all the same. And finally, you know about the Sunken Scrolls, right? They're pretty cool in their own right, shedding light on the history of the Inklings. And they even poke a little fun at Nintendo fans. But did you catch that each scroll has an icon in the bottom right corner? Sometimes it's a Zapfish, other times Judd, or it could be Sheldon from the Weapon Shop. But that's not the cool thing, because if you flip through it fast enough, you can see it's actually animated, like a flipbook. It's actually a single creature that starts off as a Zapfish, which rotates and turns into Judd, which in turn, turns into Sheldon. It's a neat little detail that's pretty much impossible to catch unless you're looking for it. Oh, and if you want to see the animation at its fastest speed, try starting on page 1, then using the gamepad to tap on the final scroll. And there you have it, the 5 cool secret details in Splatoon. But have you caught anything else? Let us know by posting in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and make sure to stay tuned to GamingSplain.com for more on Splatoon and other things gaming too.